It's easy to see why everyone loves Kyoto, the former imperial capital of Japan. The temples, the castles, the gardens, the old shops, the canal, they're beyond beautiful. And unlike Tokyo, the scale is small, the atmosphere intimate. Except for one small, intimate problem. Kyoto is crammed with tourists. Here in Gion, the ancient nightlife district, it's nuts on the weekend. Not to mention expensive. But at the very height of the high season, in a posh neighborhood, I found a hotel that would let me stick to my weekend budget of $500. The Nishiyama. The Nishiyama is a ryokan, a traditional inn, with a garden in the courtyard, a koto player in the lobby, and cozy futon rooms. Let's see if we have a view. Mm, not so much. A cup of tea, some wagashi, or traditional candy, and wacky Japanese TV, well worth $100 a night. But outside the hotel, I still face the challenge of Kyoto, how to get beyond the tourist experience and penetrate to something real. With very little time, I wasn't sure I'd be able to look into every nook and cranny, but I figured I'd give it a shot. So I took the Kyoto subway to the Philosopher's Path, a neighborhood of some of the most gorgeous temples and shrines in Kyoto. The main temple in this complex is called Nanzenji, and it would be incredibly peaceful here, except for all these people all of whom seem to be taking the exact same photo. Sure, it's lovely, but I felt claustrophobic until I found this empty path off to the side. Up and up I went, sure I would discover my own little nook or cranny. And there it was, a little shrine to call my own. I even had my own shower. But the path led even further up. Soon I came face to face with American college students. Okay, so I wasn't alone anymore, but I didn't care. Joe and Chelsea offered their own recommendations for frugal travel in Kyoto. So you're in Kyoto, you must be eating kaiseki all the time. Oh, uh, no. The kaiseki is as delicious as it is and as healthy as it is. It's expensive. I recommend you go into any of the big department stores and you go to the basement because the basement is where all the gourmet foods are sold and there are always samples. And you can have pretty much a meal on samples alone. And so, that's what I did. Where are the free samples? I guess, do I have to ask for them? Shouldn't they just be handed to me? Oh, look at those big, delicious eels. Mm. Can I try? The first sample. Mm. Then, I got lucky. Mm. Mm. Pickle stand with samples. Oh, can't wait. Mmm, exciting. Oh, so good. So good. Oh, more daikon. I can always eat more daikon. As I gorged myself on free samples, I suddenly realized, for the first time all weekend, the crowds didn't matter. <laughs> 